Hello everyone, thank you for your time and consideration. When you combine all the ciphertext clues that Alger generated, that is the cipher key, the Dorabella cipher, and the 1886 program, one is able to spell Ein Feisberg. For example, the way I was able to pluck out all the letters to spell Requiem, I was able to find Ein Feisberg using the same method. Furthermore, I was able to generate some very important numbers that help support these findings. Finally, I believe Alger used semitones and tones to hint towards a specific tune. Unfortunately, I have not been able to confirm how these semitones and tones may have been used by Algar. First, you have to decipher both the Dorabella cipher and the 1886 program by using Algar's cipher key. When you pluck out all the relevant letters, Ein Feisberg is spelled. In order to find these specific letters, you have to count by three, starting from the last letters of U and V. You are now left with the following 22 sequential letters. The first sequence is as follows. S, J, G, T, S, V, E, V, N, V, E, S, R, T, R, S, T, T, R, I, F, B. The second sequence is T, I, S, S, G, U, S, U, 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 F, U, R, E, E, T, G, R, J, R, E. Notice the 21st and 22nd letters at the end of the sequence, E, F, B. Recall that the letter U is the 21st alphabet in both English and German languages. I counted by threes because one of Algar's squiggly characters looks like the number three and is designated to represent the letter O in his cipher key. Furthermore, the letter O is the 14th letter in Algar's cipher key. Next, pluck out the 12 German letters that spell Ein Feisberg. I also noticed that within the Dorabella cipher, Alger's initials EDU appear after the period on the third line. Let's look at Alger's Enigma Variations Opus 36. Adante quarter note equals 63 Enigma. Notice how the two numbers are reversed, 36 and 63. When you add 36 to 63, you get the number 99. 63 minus 46 equals 17. Alger's significant number 17 appears. You have to juxtapose Martin Luther, the reformer's original Ein Feisberg musical sheet. Recall that Luther used a part of the Psalm 46 to help him with his hymn. When you do the following math, the number 53 appears. 99 minus 46 equals 53. When you add up all the notes from Luther's original music sheet, you get 52 musical notes. One note short of 53. Recall that the number 168 was generated in Alger's offered price for a violin, two numbers short of the significant number 170. Recall Alger's cipher key. When you add up all the U's from the left side of the page, you get 99 U's. Did Alger want to give us a hint that 36 plus 63 equals 99? On the right side of the page, you get 114 U's. Did Alger want to hint at the number 14 to suggest his 14 variations? Coincidence or not, when Alger completed the Enigma variations in February 1899, he would have been 42 years old. 63 minus 42 equals 21. The letter U is the 21st letter in both the German and English alphabets. When applying the Dorabella cipher's date, July 14, 1997, Alger may have also been pointing to the number 17 by using the apostrophes next to the number one and seven. We know that Alger started the Enigma variation theme within the first 17 bars. Obviously, the number 17 was important to Algar. Why? What was really astonishing for me was when I counted all the words used in Martin Luther's A Mighty Fortress Is Our God in both German and English. The German version in Wikipedia by Frederick Henry Hedge consists of 186 lyrics, whereas the English consisted of 202 lyrics. When you do the math, 202 minus 186 equals 16, very close to 17. I try to apply the circle of fifths to the information I accumulated. When you start at E major and proceed counterclockwise 17 times, I believe I landed on F sharp major or minor, and then moved another 17 from that key, I landed on B flat minor, EFB, which may be the anagram for I'm Fesberg. I also believe the term requiem was also embedded in Alger's puzzles. 
Here is the sequential lettering that spells Requiem. When using the decrypted four lines from two of Alger's cryptograms, that is, the Dorabella cipher and the 1886 program, the word Requiem is almost spelled out completely. The last line consists of six out of the seven letters needed to spell the word Requiem. One of the letters E is missing. Furthermore, the letters are not in their correct order. That is, R, blank space, I, E, M, U, Q. Coincidence? The following letters appear in sequence. E, R, Q, R, I, R, 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 E, R, R, E, Q, R, R, U, Q, E, U, 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 E, R, U, Q, R, I, E, M, U, Q. We get R, E, Q, blank space, I, E, M. We are missing Alger's enigmatic shape, his squiggly shape, letter U. Add this letter and we get Requiem. Notice Alger's significant numbers, 4, 7, and 14. The word Requiem is made up of seven letters in both the German and English languages. The missing fourth letter in this word puzzle is the letter U. Finally, the number 14, as in 14 variations, is used to connect the pertinent letters for the word Requiem.